Welcome to Hacker Replay, whatever 120 or something that we're on. Uh, we have six matches for you today. Five standard, or five ranked, one standard, and for some reason three canal. You heard it here first. If you play canal, 50% chance you're facing a cheater. This is the first one we're going to watch today. Which, if I'm not mistaken, yes. We have clickyfish, dot dot, who is accusing on baby. Not just one of them. Every single one of them. All five of the on babies. I feel like this will be a five stack of cheaters. And by feel like, I say the text document literally said they were a five stack of cheaters. Let's see what we can watch from the cheaters. It is possible that they're not cheating. The person could just be salty and accusing a five stack. But so far, that mozzie did not look like he was cheating. If he was, he would have tracked that guy, you know? Although, maybe not, or maybe he is, because, like, so he goes on camera, sees nothing, right? Ignore the fact that the barricade's back up. What is he aiming at? He's aiming, like, above the tree line back there. For no reason. And then he peeks here, and he immediately flicks that person. I didn't get it to break again. Okay. So he gets on camera, he looks around. Like, what is he looking at? Granted, he could see ahead here, but then he peeks again. And instead of aiming down where he saw it, he's still aiming up, but then flicks down every time he peeks. It's like, why are you flicking down? And then he dies. Yeah, what? He died there? Okay. How did two of the supposed cheaters die already? Didn't even look like he hit him there. Cav apparently got a kill. Okay, so Cav's cheating. She just lined him up through the wall. So that's one cheater. So far. Oh. You guys have a prediction of how many cheaters. The predictions are in. 45% of you think there will be three or more cheaters on the on baby team. Uh, 55% of you think it'll be two or less. So we already have one. On baby 322 two is cheating. Let's see if Oryx is cheating. Just didn't shoot. Wait. Oh, he is cheating. Bro, he, d he didn't even aim at him. Excuse me? Watch. He's aiming at the door. He's fully aimed in. Oh wait, and it fucking, like it flicked over in like one frame. What the watch more to make sure it's, maybe it was just lag or something, but pretty sure he just killed him when it wasn't even close to them. Now he's just smashing into everything. Goyo, I think, is probably cheating here, too. Oh, but he sucks. Okay, next round. For sure, we still we have the one cheater. Oryx is a maybe. Goyo is, like, probably 80%. Also, I want to mention that one person in the blue team has a diamond banner, which means this is a five stack of cheaters, or at the very least a five stack with a cheater, in diamond. So when people ask me, why don't you play ranked? This is why. I'm in those diamond lobbies. Oh, the doors. I hate when it does that. The so 3 two, 2 is cheating. I think this warden's probably also cheating. Oh, Warden's dead. Let's see how he died. Yeah. Inconclusive. Echo just got somebody. He's 
definitely cheating. He just did that as like a way to bait the shot. Like you peek so that they shoot at you and you're like, oh, I know where you are. And then you shoot them. That guy's definitely cheating. That's two cheaters. Great. I love when the debris is like just perfectly in the way. The debris. He missed. This is open, I'm pretty sure. Like fully open. He, he for sure is cheating. Just the way they're moving and aiming. And he keeps doing that where he keeps peeking to try to make them... ...peek them and then he pre-fires them, pre them. So... Echo's cheating. Goyo, I'm pretty sure, is also cheating. Can't. Well, these two we know are cheating for sure. They at the very least have walls. I'm pretty convinced that the one guy had aimbot. Because the fact that he fired at nothing and got a headshot is like, mm, probably aimbot. So these two for sure. Now the rest we watch. I'm pretty sure 27 was the Oryx, the one that I th was like, just talking about. How sad do you have to be though to be on a five stack of cheaters? Like, from the looks of it, this guy has some type of aimbot. Wait, he just did a full reload. Oh my, he has the cheat where he can shoot like 50 bullets at once, doesn't he? So. The 322 guy has walls, 42 has walls, this guy has some type of aimbot slash uh, shooting. I don't know what to call it when you can shoot all your bullets in 5 seconds. Or not 5 seconds, 1 second. So he has 31 bullets in his magazine. And then... When he shoots the drone... Oh no, it's because he did the reload cancel. Never mind. Okay, so he doesn't have the shooting infinite bullets at once type cheat. They keep doing the same thing as well where he, like he aims low and then free fires aiming like moving his aim up. Pretty sure this guy's walling as well. It's hard to tell for sure because sometimes like you have one cheater on the team and they just tell everyone where everyone is. Obviously they are in a five stack so that is un entirely possible. But look, he does, he's doing this again. He's aiming like down here at ground level instead of aiming where they could push. He's done that every single time. He goes to the door, he aims at ground level. And then when he swings, he like pre-fires and then aims up all of a sudden. Is the lesion cheating? Probably. This guy looks significantly worse than the rest of them, though, because he's sitting up here with a shotgun, reinforced these walls, and impacted the floor. Doesn't really look like he knows where he is. I think he's cheating just because he already aimed at the fuse crouch level. Okay. Weird. I do think they're just trying to hide it. Like, these guys are in the know. Orin, we already know it was cheating. I want to... We'll see on attack. We'll see if they just, like, rush in and, you know, gun people down. Because then that'll be definitive proof. So far, it's just, like, a guaranteed two of them. 42 and 322 are guaranteed cheating. We'll see the ash. I want to say the rest of them are cheating, but like, I haven't quite gotten that definitive proof I need, like, what I got with the others. It's fairly obvious, like, this is the guy that keeps aiming 
at the ground and not really doing a whole lot and then flicking the people's heads. That's supposed to like make us think that he just cleared the basement by doing that. He ran down to the staircase, half aimed on side, then ran away. He's like, yep, cleared basement. We know that one's shooting, we know this one's shooting, so we just need to watch the ash. See, look, he's doing it again. But even before that he saw the cap can trap, but he aims low. And then well he died there. Oh now we want to blitz. Let's see what he does. I wonder if I can find out all of their names. He, yeah, he's cheating. He just... Unless they're telling him, which I mean they could be, but unless they're telling him and they're like, hey, someone's about to peek that corner, like he specifically went into the corner to avoid being seen by her. That guy is just straight up like aimbotting now. He's tracking the Solus. I'm sorry, what? He's already aiming down sight at the person down the hall that he hasn't even seen yet. Okay, so that's three of them. Uh, th 322, 27, and 22 are all cheating. Oh no, 42. Sorry, 42 was the other one. Um, based off of the kill distribution that we can see right here, uh, 13605 has zero kills, 22 has zero kills. I'm gonna guess these three are boosting them. They're probably paying for some type of ranked boost. Because these three are actually like trying to fry them all. This guy was just AFK and spawn, yeah. All right, let's see if I can find the match. I doubt it, but we'll try. Does not have it, okay. Uh, none of them have it. The other two I assume are Sturmo names, Kigo and Daddy Rar. I don't know how sad you have to be to pay someone to boost you in, in ranked. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I have like the normal mindset, so this is how I interpret it, but if I have to pay someone to get a rank that I don't deserve, I just would feel terrible about that. But now if I could pay someone to get a charm that would get me to the rank I deserve, aka champion, I would feel great about that. And if that sounds like something you want to do, then all you have to do is sub to my Twitch channel. You get the charm free with Prime, or you can use $5. In this match, we have Sheepy, who is accusing Zazino. Zazine Ho? Never really understood the point of stream mode names. Uh, certain mode names in general are just meant to give some anonymity and protection. I think we can all agree that the Siege community can be toxic as hell. So having the ability to hide oneself just so you don't have to deal with people who might know your name or, you know, harass you for whatever reason, that's pretty good. They need to fix the barricades in match replay. They do not show up properly. This is one of those times where I'm like, man, if I just walked in instead of sending my clone, I could have killed somebody for free. if he still checks the shield in case the person's there. Probably not because Nomad would have just cleared it. Also trying to make sure that it actually is Zena who's the accused. They're both in the top corner so could be lying. Wait to see if I hear anything. What is Yana looking at? Okay. 
That's a minute and a half wasted just standing there. He did get shot at. Make sure. That noise is what we were looking for to confirm that it is Sheepy who submitted it. Oh my god, this noise bug as well. Oh, they don't even have a rotate in here? Or what is this lobby? Seems like he already knew that Kaid was in that mini hallway before they droned or checked anything, but maybe maybe they called it out. He didn't get a single kill that round. No, he got one. Seemed weird. He seemed to be always just like watching angles that didn't really make much sense, or like just moving around weirdly. So far, it does not seem like that good of a player. This is quite the drone spot. He's waiting for the drone to give intel. He's waiting till it cl clears out like the rest of the well, server room before moving in. And they've got two people holding a hatch. Not shooting the back can trap for some reason. What the fuck did this person just shoot? Oh, one sight, one above. Shot from hatch, but doesn't realize it. They still have two people on the hatch. Maybe they killed two people on sight. I don't know. And I need to come out. So far, this accused player. It just doesn't really seem like they know what they're doing. Like they seem constantly lost. Okay, and then they walk into that shot for them. Doesn't even pull out his gun? Person still pushing garage. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say pull out your gun, goddamn. I don't know about you guys. So far, I don't think they're even a good player. I don't think they're cheating. They just seem terrible. Okay, took 10 shots to destroy a camera. What is this guy doing? He's like cycling drones, but doesn't really know what to do. This door is open, by the way. It's bugged for some reason. He seems genuinely just lost. They're grenading nothing. Okay, like so he seems lost, but at the same time, nading that spot, which is like a common hiding spot, seems like a higher level play. Like, you wouldn't have a copper player do that. And so far, he kind of seems like a copper. Just like, that nade, I don't know what that was. He's gonna hold the flank for, I guess, cap can and archives, but... Seems overly confident that someone's about to flank. And here are the orcs above. That's just audio. Still one above. He almost hit the Oryx. Shit. 
chat, any thoughts so far based off of that? Coincidence? Luck, perhaps? Flashed by his own teammate. Barely noticed the cap can. I, I, I'm also just throwing out there that, like, the bands do indicate a low level lobby. We have Pulse, banned by the blue team, and then Glaz, banned by the orange team. So. I think they're just bad players. They specified that they are accusing them because of that shot that I pointed out, where he shot at the Oryx through the wall, wherever that was in Tellers. But then also in round five, with one minute left. We'll skip four, because I don't think that they're cheating. I just want to see the specific parts of why they think they're cheating. They did also mention that the Ella Lorinha is the other accused person, but mainly they're just accusing Zazino. Because they specified at what timestamp they accused them at, so we don't really need to watch the rest of this, but... Huge impact out there. Also, okay. One thing I've noticed, at least when they were playing Sledge... They shoot in, like, bursts. They tap their mouse instead of holding it down. So here, they're probably going to do the same thing. Yeah, they're like, instead of holding down and just going full automatic, they're going like... Do -do 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 why? What's the point of that? Okay, we're approaching the timestamp that I was given. They said it happened at 1.07 remaining. Be right here. Okay, so remember how we had the round three where he shot three bullets at Oryx's direction but didn't hit them? He does the same thing here, and it's not just like a spray and it happens to line up. Like, look at this. They aim like right at the nook, I think that is. Aim away. Okay, aim past them, which is good. But then they aim closer to them each time, and then they keep aiming across there. I don't know. I feel like that's getting a little weird they keep tap firing in their direction but not hitting them. Doesn't feel normal. And also, like, it's just their shooting pattern. Their shooting pattern is the weirdest thing I find so far is... It's like... They... They tap instead of actually firing the gun. And they just almost did it again. They almost flicked on the thermite through the wall. Once in round three, you know, we, we, were, we all mainly said that was a coincidence, right? But then the Nook earlier in this round, and then... Like, flicks to him through the wall and barely misses him. And then pulls away. Oh, three times? I think it's a little bit more than coincidence. Do they die to this Finca here? They seem lost, okay. Wouldn't you shoot there if you hear a Finca boost? Well, no, because if you would hear the Finca boost, it'd be right in front of you, not on the left side through the wall. He would have heard Finca here. But also, if I'm not mistaken, when he did shoot at the Thermite, that was like 10 seconds after the Fink Finca boost had already been administered. So, why would you shoot there so late? That, that doesn't make sense. I'm just saying, three times in a row of like... Shooting at them through the wall, like right there. So that's number two. And then we're about to see number three. 
So, Finca revives here. Finca boost is already down. And then, six seconds later, he flicks to Thermite through the wall. Oh no. And like, as far as I can tell, Thermite didn't do anything to be heard. He walks in, and then just stands still, and then the Vigil almost hits him through the wall. I just feel like, I feel like that is a little bit too much coincidence. And then they say in round eight, this guy's either a really smart hacker and knows how to hide it well or is not. I mean, that is one of the issues, like, it can either be someone is a good cheater who knows how to hide it or they're just ass at the game and it's hard to tell because they're ass either way. He's a shoddy hacker if he is one. I, I know you're saying like 6 and 4, he's garbage, he should be doing better, but like, scoreline doesn't really mean much when it comes to cheating. When it's really high, sure, but when it's negative or low, I don't really consider it much because... Or like, whether that's innocent or guilty. Because we've had cheaters who have gone negative, because they're trash. And cheats don't help them. But watch out this entire round, but there's one specific part that they mentioned as to why they accuse them. And it's towards the end of the round. I just feel like this guy's movement and aim is inconsistent with how frequently he is able to almost shoot people through walls. Like a really good player who would be able to accurately hit people through walls would not have this low level movement and positioning and awareness. You know? So I will mention that like the enemy team is also not that good. The whole lobby is pretty bad. I just find it weird that a lobby this bad would have someone flicking through walls to try to hit people. Also still doing like the weird tap firing. I don't think once in this entire game have they full auto fire, they just always tap fire. We'll see if maybe it happens here. Oh, it was there. But they shot him through the couch. Uh, I mean, did Frost see it? Like, you'd be able to hear them start planting, so that's like, I don't know if I'd really consider that. They got shot at from the door, so there's reasonable... Or there's like, uh, you know, you can, you can understand why they would be like, okay, they're over there, and then they hear the planting, and they're like, okay, they were at the double door. This, uh, that seems a little weird that he's already aiming at like crouch level when he peeks him, but I guess if you put two and two together, then you would know that, hey, they're planting their crouch level. I don't know. The other three instances, I would say, are way more suspicious. They also said in the file, they were like, that is a common plant spot, so it makes sense why he'd pre-fire it. That is not a common plant spot on those couches. No one ever plants there. You only plant there if you're desperate. Okay. So, they have a reputation, or long enough reputation, where they go like silver, bronze, silver, silver, gold, 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 flat with new rank 2.0. And then now they're, they're hard stuck in bronze after making it plat before. I don't think we had anything super solid to say that they're cheating, but my only argument is that they do not look like a plat or gold player. They look like a bronze or copper player that somehow can consistently line up people through walls. I'll just say I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out they end up cheating. But I'm not going to say they are. Next match, another canal. In match number three, we have Word Daco, who's accusing McTriple, and then also User, with a dot in between. Pardon me, feels like this will be a, an obvious match. Especially because they're just running through. They haven't droned out a single thing. And they're rushing as Osa. They died. They got the kill. Okay. 
Would not have expected that. This guy was also accused. I think it's mainly the other one. It's mainly McTriple. Yeah, seems kind of garbage. They need to remove stern mode. 99% of cheaters use it. I, I've said before that I wouldn't mind if they made it where you have to be part of their like streamer program in order to use stern mode. But we could also run into issues there where it's like... So, the reason why stern mode has to be the way it is is because then you know someone has stern mode and it's they're not using someone else's name. Because, like, in order to make stern mode obvious, they add a bunch of numbers at the end. And then say, okay, you know this person's running stern mode. Like, make triple, 13793. Uh, that way they're not copying someone else's name. But, if we make it, like, where just streamers can use it, it'll be the same thing. You look at someone's name, you'll be like, Bob123. This is definitely a streamer. And then they'll look them up. Then the other option is to not have the number show up, and then it's like, okay, how does it look if I make my name Bolo, and then run around playing as Bolo all day, and people think I'm actually him? Not great either. I I wouldn't mind if they just had it as like a streamer mode program, like or streamer program. You sign up for the streamer program, and if you get accepted, you get streamer mode. I just don't know how to make it not super obvious. Maybe you could make your name whatever you want, but it has to be something that no one else has. So if I want to make it Bob, I'd have to name it like Bob27 or something. Okay, you get C4 through the floor. Server mode's not great. A lot of cheaters do use them, they use it to hide. I can't tell you how much harder it's been to like actually ban people or get them banned because I don't know their username. Or even just see, like, for Hacker Replay, if they have been banned. Panic. I don't think the the Monty is cheating. The Osa, or McTriple, I'm still more convinced is cheating. Or let us see their name in Replay or at the end of the match. Replay, it shouldn't be. At the end of the match, I could understand that more. If you could see someone's name at the very end, like in the final scoreboard, it'd be nice. But then also, you'd have to do it where it's like, okay, you have McTriple. But at the end of the game, it'll be in brackets, real username. And like, a bit more faded, so people don't think it, that's their full username, something like that. There's a lot of things Ubisoft could do to make stream mode better. We're not going to see any improvements anytime soon. Thanks for sub Krauser. This is now the third round where this Osa is rushing. And I think that confirms cheating right there. Every single time they peeked, they had already adjusted their aim to be at whatever height the Kaid was. You can see the first peak is standing at head level. And then they hit them, don't kill them, but then they aim crouched. Granted, they're also crouched, but even when they stand up, they still aim crouched level. And then he stands up, and then they aim higher up. Not quite at head level, but in all three of those peaks, they had the perfect height for their aim. And then the Kai just lets them kill them. You just pre fire that. What? How did he know? I mean, maybe he could hear smoke? Smoke's running around a little bit, but he like licks and pre fires, but then misses. Oh, if this guy's cheating, he's not that great, but. I think he is cheating because he's constantly aware of where everyone is without droning out a single time. Wonder if they're gonna know that the person's right there. Just did a whole spin around to like get a I guess a view of everything. Supposed to make us think that they're getting intel. I think he's cheating. Like he did the whole spin around there. 
Like right here, they go up, they push all the way up. What is the point of this spin around there? Other than to see people through the wall. He must be cheating. See if they run out again and know where they are. This you'd be able to hear a bit. I think we could even hear in the replay, but even there, as soon as the ace turned around to run a different direction, Thorn immediately gets up to look a different way. Which you wouldn't be able to hear it that clearly that you know that ace turned around. Head with a perfect head level every time. Doesn't realize the thermite's in. He did look at them and then just not react. This would be the first time I've seen so far this game where the th Mick Triple guy wasn't just eagerly waiting for someone to peek them. Every other time he's either like on that run out, he did the full spin to see everyone through the wall, because why the hell would you spin there? Every other time he's just like comment or like he's waiting for wherever they're gonna push and aiming at head level every single time. But head level changes as they change. I don't know, I think they're cheating. I think they're doing a good job of hiding it. Although it is oh no, it is ranked. I was gonna say this is standard, so could just be messing around. I think the other reason why I think they're cheating is based off of the real username of the player, which I have. Which, it looks like just the name of an account that you would make for cheating. They die there. The ace would be too sus. It did look like, so, I don't know if you guys would agree with me on that one round where they got a 4k. They were, like, pushing everywhere perfectly, killing every single person. And then as soon as it's about to become the ace, they're just like, ooh, where are they? And, like, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Did he just lock onto the guy's head in the last round he did? I don't think that was a lock on. It was like a pass over on the person. Like right there. Eh. It does like suspiciously stop on their head, but... Right there. But then they move away. Normally I would say no, that's not really anything, but because I'm already suspicious of them based on how they played the previous rounds, like when they did their spin around to look at everyone around the map, probably is a part of their cheats. Bro, he sucks. I have their actual name, which I feel like once you guys see their name, you're gonna be like, yeah, they're probably cheating. Their name is ES6NC9LA8JB5. They've already been banned for cheating. Okay. So they were cheating. In this match, we have Toppings, who's accusing EddieXZZ.com. The guy ran all the way out for them. Hold on. My man. Maestro's hiding in the hidey spot. Why did the uh, flash just not shoot? Oh, they're still pulling out their gun. I, f 
feel like if they were obviously cheating, they would have done something to the maestro since he's just sitting in that little cubby. Okay, mirror with the 4k. You can tell this person's on a true ram main because uh, they're not using the ram gadget to just instantly break a barricade and run through. They're actually breaking barricades. The bold spot to drone in. That is super easy to get killed there. Sorry, did, was he supposed to have seen Legion there? Can't see through that crack. I don't know. If they think they know Legion's there, then... I think they're cheating. Because, like, you wouldn't be able to see them there. What the? Okay. It has a ram gadget that can go through that without being broken and throws a flash instead. Do they not know they can shoot Fenrirs? Like, they keep getting hit by every single Fenrir and they're just letting it happen. the typical ranked lobby, but it's in standard. No one's planting. IQ, you have diffuser. Plant. I think he's probably yelling at IQ, being like, plant. They team killed because the IQ was just refusing to plant. Damn it, Sparkle Dog 32. Do you know why UB keeps changing the static effect? Well, they've only changed it once, if I'm not mistaken, but... Allegedly. I don't know how accurate this is, but this was an allegation thrown out on Twitter that the static effect that Ubisoft was using for mute jammers as well as, I think, drones were stolen assets. They were assets made by a third person, like a third party, who had nothing to do with Siege, and they took it and implemented it into the game without his permission. Then he was like, what the fuck, Ubisoft, what are you doing? And then, like a year later, they removed them all. Or they removed that static effect, so... I don't know how you know how accurate it is, or if that's the reason why, but I would guess if it is true, that's why. Ready for that a zombie. What am I doing? Okay, I might need to sit down after this match. My legs are killing me today. Or my back is killing me rather. I haven't really seen anything. I know they're seven and one, but like, I thought it would be a little bit more obvious at this point. It doesn't feel obvious. In the text document, they just say they're acting weird and getting a bunch of kills. I would agree on the acting weird, but it's also standard, so. Hmm. I think this is just, 
it doesn't look like a high level lobby because uh, I'm just throwing it out there. What the fuck is this setup? What is it? <gasps> what is that mirror? A crouched mirror that's not even all the way up against the corner on the wrong wall. I don't think they're cheating. I think this is just a bad lobby. It's also standard, so it's very possible you could have just terrible teammates and then better enemies. Uh, guys, why is Nook Naruto running? She's about to blitz into sight, be so fast with her Naruto run. Oh, now it's back to normal. No, her. No. It's still bugging out. She hitting the gritty. Isn't gritty the uh, the milkshake guy? The only thing I would find suspicious so far would be that, which this isn't even that suspicious because he looks honestly caught off guard by this. He's holding the door and then, like, oh, what the? Someone's in there. And like, the only reason I find this a little bit suspicious is knowing how to line up exactly from being positioned there on the left to finding this angle and aiming right at them and then maintaining your aim right on them the entire time. Okay, that's a little hard to do. It's not possible, but just based off the average MMR of this lobby, I just don't think that they would be pulling off stuff like that. But then they died to the person behind them. I don't know. I, I think they're fine. I think they're just a little weird. Uh, so stats don't seem crazy suspicious. Like, barely any matches played for that to make it suspicious. A 1.8 in quick play across 100 matches is a little high, but it's also quick play. He could be playing against, like, the bodiest bots to ever bot. Uh, level 206, previously plat all the way back in North Star, hasn't really played rank since. Probably fine. Like they kind of just stopped playing altogether and then they came back. I guess we go to the final round, we just do a quick glance, see if we're 12 and 2. I mean, those are high stats. Dokubi didn't even notice him. I think they died to the sludge here. Yeah, they were lost. Okay, I think they're fine. I think they're just probably smurfing or got into a very low level lobby. Yeah, I need to sit down. My back is hurting me, so. In this match, we have Kenobi can blow me, accusing next Grizzly. He's trying to look for the drone. He hears it, like, squeaking around. Just isn't sure where it is. What are you doing, Nomad? That's the submitter. I'm just waiting to see it say they've been reported for cheating. Is this hacker replay dropping on Wednesday? It is. Normally I record these on stream on Sunday, but since I was busy all weekend, I was unable to, and I did it today instead. Hard to tell with hacker or with match replay audio how clear that would have been that vault in on gridlock. Oh, even he's confused by that audio. But I feel like he shouldn't have been able to hear the gridlock as clearly as he did jump in, because the grenade just went off right next to him. But he was ready for it. But this is also, they've now killed three people, all jumping in the exact same window. And he killed them all basically from the same spot. I don't know about that. Like, I don't think that's a, a hacker. I think that's just a bad enemy team. Also chat, um, tips and tricks that Twitch doesn't want you to know, or Ubisoft. 
There are extensions for your browser, because I know we have drops today, so you can get an eSport pack by dropping or by watching my stream. Um, if you don't want to have to like manually keep track of it or manually, uh, what's it called? You have to like agree or accept it once you finish the time. There are extensions where they will automatically collect drops for you. And I think it's just called like Twitch auto drops or something. You download that, it takes like two seconds to put it onto your browser and then um, you don't have to click or do anything, you just leave the browser open and it'll automatically claim your, claim is the word I was looking for, claim your drops. Level TV has an auto claim built in, there you go. I think better Twitch TV does as well. So make sure to get some of those extensions because that's what I use whenever I'm watching like streamers for drops, I just leave it on in the background and it auto claims it. Am I going to stream 3 plus hours today? Yes, my plan is to go to 4 p.m. Since I haven't been streaming much recently. Although I will say, I, I took, like, what was it, four days off of stream? I thought we would lose a lot more subs, but we really didn't. I think we lost, like, maybe 150. Not too bad for four days off. No, oh, by the way, we are now at two minutes of this guy just sitting here. Holding this one hallway. Which also, I just realized he got a 4k in the last round. Wow. Oh. oh, he didn't. He got a 3k. How did he kill someone this round? Was it his gadget? Oh, it was his gadget. And then he spends the entire rest of the round just sitting here, waiting. Nothing that round. I feel like he's acting a little weird holding that, but at the same time, I totally get it because so many people rush basement over there that you could easily catch someone just sprinting through that hallway. He doesn't realize the person was on that window. They realize that one. A single person on blue team, by the way, was watching drones. There's a bunch of drones, and instead of watching them, they keep watching the teammates. I don't... Personally, I don't think they're cheating so far. This, uh, I only just got reminded of this because this guy has the phase skin on his gun. So Koi, the pro team, is now leaving Siege. Or like, I think it's going back to Rogue. Because Koi bought Rogue and now they've agreed to end their relationship. So then I think Koi is going to become Rogue, which means that the Koi bundle that is now in the pro league shop is no longer going to be available after like, I don't know, two weeks or something. Maybe the season whatever it is. I gotta go check it out. Apparently it's really good. Also, I'd say this round he seems way more frag-oriented than previous rounds. Or at least better in terms of getting kills. He accused him there because he actually killed the guy who submitted this match on that, like, window peak. I went way too far back. So he drops here, and then he, like, not flicks, but looks over at the window and kills the, the submitter. But it's like, he kind of was already looking over there and just happened to line up.
He did just shoot at the Fenrir, but the Fenrir did just shoot at someone else, so. Kind of a reaction. I don't think he's cheating. I mean, we know they lose here because they lose the next round as well and they win. Oh. That would really be really sus to me since to the submitter it seems so random to look over there at that window. I get that, like, in the previous round, why is he looking there, but... I'm also just going to point out the bans again. Just like the last match, Twitch ban and Capcan ban. Usually those are lower level bans. This doesn't seem like the greatest lobby. I will say that the the Grizzly guy seems better than everyone else. We can look at some stats after. Because like, remember the first round? Three of them jumped into one window and he killed all three. Like, the enemy team's not that good. Free kill. Dies. Okay. Nothing there. Okay. Round six. They win this round. He is playing it more methodically this round than the previous ones. The last two, he was kind of just trying to rush and kill, and then that, those didn't work, so now he is taking it slow. I guess round four, he was ace, but he still killed four of them. He's just creeping on in. Probably shouldn't be doing this with Ram, who is the loudest operator in the game. I'm going to say not cheating. Because they probably should have killed them. Um, I also, I'm not roasting them for this, but I'm going to assume Kenobi also primarily blamed them because next Grizzly killed Kenobi like four out of the five times that he died, and he was zero and four up until that round. So probably resented him a little bit, which is understandable. Uh, next Grizzly is a previously diamond player, currently Emerald. And I'm going to guess that the enemy team is not that close. Oh, Emerald. Oh, that's also, uh, I guess that's rank 2.0, Emerald slash Diamond. The guy was Diamond in rank 1.0. This guy, okay, what? So the other two were Diamonds slash uh, Emerald, and then this guy is Gold slash Silver slash Plat. And then this guy's silver. Okay, I don't know what the hell this lobby is. Because somehow this is ranked, but there's a mix of diamonds and silvers. Oh wait, that's right. It's a rank 2.0. Because ranked is garbage and doesn't mean anything. Alright, in this match we have C1 H at, or H6 dot who's accusing Isorts? E Isorts? Uh, Gridlock is planting. Mmm, they're doing my rush strat. Makes sense why they were able to plant so accurately. So, if I'm not mistaken, when they droned, the Vigil had their cloak thing on. So there shouldn't have been an easy way for... Yana to know where they were. And yet they still did. Hmm. I think Yana's cheating. Heard they're nerfing nades, supposedly. Well, I mean, we know they're nerfing nades, but people are assuming based off of a very small clip that doesn't specifically say anything on the Pro League channel. They assume that what's going to happen next season is that grenades are no longer going to be able to be cooked. So you can throw a nade, 
but it will always have the same time to detonate. Um, and the only reason people are saying that is because there's like one short clip in the Pro League stream where it says cooking nades is very powerful, and then like that's it. Unless I miss something, it doesn't specifically say that they're going to remove the cooking ability. Hmm. It's like he shot thinking that he headshot him, even though he wasn't really close to it. And then was confused that they didn't die. And they just did it again. This guy's cheating. He specifically didn't finish the Fenrir so that they can't see in the kill cam that he lined him up through the wall. Yeah, he's cheating. Uh, they are level 29 with zero stats. Wait, did I write the wrong name? Oh, there's a dot at the end. There it is. Uh, silver with a 2 KD, 2.1. They previously were a copper with a 0 0.47 in that, 0 0.6, that's a vent. The 1.1, 0 0.9, very varying KDs. But then suddenly they came back after not playing for a year, or t for sorry, for two years, and now they have a 2 KD. Yeah, no, they're cheating. Let me guess. They probably finished the game with like 20 kills. 15. Yeah, no, they're cheating. They were just too aware all the time. That's it for Hacker Replay, I guess. I feel like we had very few cheaters today, if you ignore the five stack. Uh, yeah, I guess that is it for Hacker Replay today.